Hi Aries, welcome to your mid to end September 2019 general love reading. This is Mermaid Scales Tarot. Aries, before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all your love and support and your subscribes. I've reached 50,000 plus subscribers. This is huge. Thank you guys. And as a token of my gratitude, I'm going to go ahead and give out two decks of the Casanova Tarot deck. If you're interested in winning a deck, go ahead and check the description box. It'll be right under the link to the extended version of this reading. So you can go ahead and see how you can win a deck for yourself. All right, Aries, so let's get started. Aries, when I was getting into your energy, uh, I saw a lotus, like a pink lotus, right? So to me, that's a couple things. Either you have like a tattoo of a lotus on you, or you have like a painting or a picture of a lotus somewhere in your house, or um, I don't know exactly. But to me, I feel like your manifestations, your dreams, Aries, regarding love are coming true during this time. So I feel like there's also a lot of healing that's involved. You've done a lot of healing towards a certain situation or towards a person. And because of that, now you're ready to receive from the world. So that's important. Some of you guys need to hear that. And especially if you have a lotus somewhere or whatever the case is, that's confirmation for you, okay? So this is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs of Aries. This isn't going to resonate with every single Aries. It's not possible for me to explain every single situation and pick up on every energy. If this doesn't resonate with you, I suggest watching your rising, moon, and Venus signs because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may resonate with your situation more than what your sun sign is at this time. Um, also, I suggest watch, watching those videos because they add additional information and you may hear messages in those readings that you may not hear in this one that may pertain to your situation more. Um, cross watchers, hi, you're very welcome here as well if you're interested in Aries. Just keep in mind that I'm picking up on Aries and cross watcher energy, so please feel free to slip, flip the rules should you feel like that resonates with your situation more. Um, my guides and intuition prioritize the messages I provide in this reading because they're the ones that really need to be heard and said for those who need to hear them. So again, if this isn't your message or if there's some parts of this reading that doesn't resonate with you, leave that for someone else because someone else needs to hear that. Finally, we all have divine masculine and feminine energies within us. When I'm saying masculine or feminine, I'm referring to the energy, not the gender or sex. If anything is gender or sex specific, I will let you know. All right, let's get started. Angel spirits and guides, what animal energy will Aries be projecting or embodying in this connection during this mid to end September 2019? And really guys, um, the time frame is just kind of for me really to help chronologically order the readings here, but whenever you're guided to you hear this, um, the message will be for you. Oh, we got two. Okay, so we got elephant and bat. Interesting. Um, I believe Taurus got the same. So um, Taurus and... Yeah, Taurus. So if you're involved with the Taurus, then that makes... Go ahead and check out that reading. But um, Or you could have Taurus somewhere in your chart. But Aries, you're very, very strong. Again, this is fire energy from the elephant. Um, whatever healing you went through in the past, whatever is growing now from your manifestations it's coming anew this is a rebirth for you and you're ready to soar you're ready to fly and you're ready to really strongly listen to your intuition your intuition's on point right now and i think you really know your third eye also could be really open at this time but you're very strong you're very wise and you know what you want in a relationship and it's coming to you aries I feel like some of you are really anxious to go out and get it, but what I'm hearing is that it's it's being taken care of, it's coming to you. 
okay? And it's because of the experiences you learn. Sometimes the elephant can, to me can mean some karmic situation. So maybe you were involved in a karmic relationship in the past, um, but you've become wiser from that. You've been reborn into something, a new energy, a new being, and you're going to provide that in the whatever relationship happens for you mid to end September, okay? Some of you may practice Hinduism. Um, you may be hin like, um, you know, into study Hinduism as a whole um, or believe in the Hinduism religion. So that's just for some, not all. But a very, very strong, very awakened energy that you're providing. And I think this is something new, Aries, for some of you. Or it's going to be like a new beginning to a relationship that you've had for a while. But really, I'm feeling something new is coming, Aries. The crocodile. Okay, this is water energy. You could be involved with a Pisces or connecting. A Pisces, a Cancer, or Scorpio may be coming into your life. Um, but they've been watching you, Aries. They've been watching you for a while. The crocodile is someone who waits, observes, and then goes for it right at the right opportunity. So I feel like whoever this is, Aries, they were watching you go through your transformation, going through your process of healing. They may have seen you break up with someone recently, maybe in the last few months, and they knew you needed time to heal. They knew you needed time to grow. But now that they see you in full blossom, they're out to get you. They're definitely watching your social media. They're definitely keeping track on what you're doing. And I think slowly and subtly, they've been making hints at you, Aries, that they're definitely interested in you. So I feel like this is the time that it's now going to come to you. This person's going to come in very strongly, too. Alligators, I don't know if you all know, alligators are fast as hell when they want to move. So I think they can go up to like 60 miles per hour or something crazy like that. So now that they see that you're ready, they're going to go after you, Aries. It's almost like, catch me if you can. Oh, I'm going to catch you. Ooh, I'm going to catch you. Okay? Like, this is strong. Strong water energy. Some of you could also have a, an air moon, like a Gemini moon, um, Aquarius moon, or Libra moon, or just have any of those in your chart. So let's go ahead and see what the, com what the factor of this connection is. What's the main factor of this? They're coming for you, Aries. They're coming for you. Wow. Yeah, they've been... I definitely feel this of more of a new energy coming your way. Um, and if it's not, like... I don't feel like this is someone from the past. I feel like this is someone... Maybe this is someone you've even been talking to for a little bit, but nothing's really, like... Maybe you guys hooked up a couple times, but nothing's ever been official. But most of you, I'm getting it's, like, a secret admirer or someone who definitely has a crush on you, Aries. What's the main factor of this connection? Honesty and differences. Okay. So, yeah, what I have to say, Aries, about this combination, again, I'm sorry, I have to point out High Priestess of Water at the bottom of the deck. This is definitely a water sign where you can have water in your chart. Again, the rules can always be reversed. Um, that's interesting to you. So, Aries, with honesty and differences, okay, so some of you guys may have never found yourself liking this person, like, they may be so different from you, right? Like black and white type of things, apples and oranges. Like um, maybe you guys are different um, cultures. You guys may have come, like grown up in different environments in your life, um, economic environments or just like um, religions even. You guys may part come from different countries. Um, but this is an honest, like, I'm really feeling like for some of you Aries, you guys went through a lot of karmic relationships in the past where it's almost as if you went through a lot of people that lied to you, cheated on you, um, you know, just weren't honest with you. But Aries, I'm feeling an honest energy coming from or coming into this connection. Yeah, you guys are different. Yeah, you guys don't see everything exactly eye to eye. But I think it's like what the difference is, is it kind of keeps the spark going. Like you guys, again, also I'm just getting very drawn to this black and white. It's like a yin and yang. 
Honestly, Aries, I don't say this word very often because it often confuses people and leaves people in a relationship that are abusive to them. But this is, I'm almost getting like a twin flame thing coming here. And I don't say that lightly, okay? I barely, rarely ever say that. Um, but I can't help but think this is like strong, equal, divine feminine, divine masculine coming together even with all their differences with honesty, integrity, um, desire, passion. Uh, this, this to me, I, some of you guys could even be encountering a twin flame very soon. Okay. Um, wow. But it's as if some of you guys are just going to be like, how did, how, how did this person come in my life? Or how am I attracted to this person? Or how are they attracted to me? Like, I'm even getting like different styles of clothes for some of you. Not like that really matters for a lot of you, but like just different tastes in music, different tastes in movies or like what, it, what they like to do hobby wise. It's as if you guys are like completely opposite, but it works. Again, fire and water, it could be very strong and it's like a lot of people don't think fire and water works, but it can make steam, okay? And that's a steamy connection when fire and water come together. But again, it doesn't have to be a water sign. It could just be someone with a lot of water in their chart or they're just embodying that energy. But strong, strong, at the very least, soulmate energy is coming your way, Aries. So this is great. Let's see exactly... Maybe some of you are realizing that this person is like a soulmate, or maybe they're realizing that about you, Aries. But something hot is coming, okay? Like, ooh. You guys are going to have sexual chemistry off the chain. How do you feel about this person, or how are you going to feel about this person mid to end September? How are you going to feel about this person mid to end September? How do you feel about them? Why do you want to be all quiet, Aries? Like, <laughs> shit. You're like, I'm shook. I don't know. Two of Cups. Holy shit, Aries. Two of Cups. Soulmate connection. Um, you know, you guys both see things. Um, you know, even if you guys are different, it's like that energetic, emotional, spiritual connection is still there. And that's why it's you, you guys will realize like the differences don't matter. The energy matches. That's what matters. The spirituality matches. The emotion matches. The passion we have for one another. We are, Both of our cups are equally up, equ equally shared. When energies are connected at the same frequency, oh, it's hard to, you know, separate yourself from that. But you have a lot of you're going to have a lot of love for this person. You, again, could have water somewhere in your chart. You could be a Pisces, Aries, Cusper. You could have a water in your chart somewhere. But you see this person as a soulmate or as a potential soulmate mid to end September. This person was just waiting for the right time, though, Aries. Again, if it's roles reverse, it's role reverse. Maybe you've been waiting to approach someone. Had your eye on them. They definitely had their eye on you, okay? I'm hearing, like, worth waiting for. How does this person feel about Aries mid to end September? This is, like, honestly my first twin flame reading. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> um, fuck it. I'll take it. Okay. Aries. Yeah, okay, Aries. So with the Nine of Pentacles, again, you may have been with someone for a while or maybe you just got out of relationship, but since you got out of that relationship, out of that connection, ooh, they've had their eye on you. They've been admiring you. Some of you have very nice biddies, but if that's not the case, some of you guys... <laughs> some of you guys have nice nipples. I'm sorry. Anyway, um... They've been having their eye on you. They've been desiring you. You've been looking good, smelling good. Ooh, Aries, they've had a crush on you for a while. And they see your independence. They see your strength. Some of you guys have just gotten a raise at your job. This could be a coworker for some of you. 
Um, but you got, may have gotten a raise, you may have gotten a promotion, you've been stacking your money, and you've been, you know, I feel like some of you guys have taken yourselves out on little shopping sprees just to splurge on yourself because, you know, again, I feel like some of you have done a lot of healing or a lot of growth, and you need to reward yourself for that. Again, it doesn't always have to be materially, but I feel like for some of you, you're like, why not? I, I need to spend some money. I need to give to me. And then by that, you bought yourself new clothes. You bought yourself maybe a new perfume, new cologne, uh, new jewelry even for some of you, new watches. I don't know. But whatever you've been doing, you're looking good. And you, you've caught this person's eye. With the strength in reverse, you could definitely be dealing with a Leo. Um, but I feel like it's just harder for them to hold back. When they see you so strongly when they feel for you so strongly um yeah so let me address these cards first so we also have the ten of wands and the five of wands so again some of you guys could have been in relationships before um there could be people multiple people pursuing you aries and they see maybe more people are commenting on your pictures liking your pictures um you know online and they're like they know a lot of eyes are on you, okay? With the Ten of Wands, they're feeling like it's a burden to keep on holding back. They're not going to be able to hold back any sooner. And they're willing to fight the competition, okay? Because they see that you're an opportunity that can't be passed up. You're like that shiny new red Corvette. Why would they want to pass that up? You know? I don't know. Maybe you guys have a red Corvette. Maybe they do. Um, pick what resonates. But now it's going to be a time where they're going to offer a message of maybe start to be flirtation. Maybe they're going to ask you on a date. Maybe they're going to, um, you know, propose some sort of thing where, hey, let's hang out or you want to come over or let's go, let's go do something. What do you want to do? I want to take you out. You know, like that. They, they're down for you, Aries. Honestly, this may be like my first twin flame reading ever. And again, guys, I seriously, honestly do not use that word lightly. Um, I feel like it confuses a lot of people. It makes people stay in relationships they shouldn't stay in. But it, it, it's just screaming to me, soulmate. Okay, at the very least, if Twin Flame's not your thing, it's soulmate for sure. Okay, and they're finding it harder and harder to hold back. It's becoming more of a burden as they hold back. And they're going to want to fight for you and make an offer of love, okay? Strongly. They, they can't hold back any longer. They can't. Let's see what the strengths of this connection are going to be. A lot of emotions at play here. I'm still drawn to that high priestess of water here. Someone, both of you, I really honestly feel with that two of cups. This could be even someone that, um, I'm not, I don't know why. For some of you, it may be like a neighbor of yours or someone that lives literally like down the block from you. Um... I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's for some. Could even be a roommate of yours. I don't know, Aries. Um, that's for some, okay? Not all. But there's a lot of emotions here. A lot of fire, a lot of water. What are the strengths in this connection, Spirit? What are the strengths in this connection? I mean, it's so clear. <laughs> like, I don't know, Cancer's reading, I needed like a million clarifiers. This one, it's like so clear, Aries. Five of Pentacles, okay. I'm gonna use a couple more. What are the strengths in this connection? Off the top already with that, with Temperance. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, off the top, the strengths are is that maybe for a while, again, you guys went through some shit in relationships. Um, you've been through it. You've been, your heart, your heart's been broken. You felt left in the cold. Some people have ghosted you in the past. Some people have just straight up broken up with you, maybe because they left you for someone else. And you're like, whoa, we are in a relationship. So you mean to say you were dating someone while we were dating? It made you feel left out. It made you feel broken. It made you feel disconnected. Um, but temperance was here. Um, temperance is Sagittarius energy. You could have that in your chart. You could be connected with the Sagittarius. But the divine 
saw the hardships you went through, the pain you went through, the the heartbreak you went through, the like honestly, like it was tough, Aries, for a while. And I feel like you've been praying for this, you've been meditating for this, manifesting a new connection that will really bring joy to your life, that will really satisfy the crave that you've been yearning for in love. And Divine's here to give you that to you. They want to put that balance back in your life. They want to give you that balance of passion and water that's equally reciprocated. I mean, honestly, oh my God, Spirit's all in this connection. They've been working for the um working for this since it's time of manifestation um to put this in your life aries this is so you deserve this you deserve this whatever's coming in your life that is strong that is stable that is honest that is your equal half you 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 you've been waiting for this aries and it's coming to you okay by the divine um, it's going to be brought balance back in your life. No longer are you going to feel five of pentacles. Hurt, betrayed, broken. No longer. Spirit's here to fix that. And they're going to give you the person you've been thinking of. You've been wishing for. You've been dreaming of. It's here. This is, this is here to balance all that feelings out. To balance all that negativity out. Again, you could have Taurus in your chart. You could have Virgo Capricorn. See what the weaknesses are. What are the weaknesses in this connection? Okay, yeah, so we have the Page of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Two of Wands. So, what I'm getting from this, Aries, is that I feel, because honesty is here, right? Let's not forget this. I see that some of you see the Seven of Swords, you're like, uh-oh. But remember, honesty is here, okay? What I'm feeling like this is that this person's going to come towards you, Aries, and they may be very flirtatious, they may be very seductive. Um, have like a plan to just like, you know, take you out for a bit of fun. And you feel like this may be the same rodeo. This may be like, okay, this per I know what this person wants. They just want me for a good time. And when they're bored, they're out. I'm not feeling that. Um, and so you may be a bit hesitant. You may be like, you know, a bit s scared to go forth with this, with the two of wands. Aries, I got to say, this person's been watching you. Okay, they've been watching you for a while. They've had their eyes on you. I, I honestly, I feel like they've had feelings for you since they met you, since they've known you. But because something was, either, again, whether you were in a relationship or whether you were just not ready yet, um, they were just waiting their time for the opportunity to go forward with you. So Aries, I feel like almost as if the weakness of this is apprehension to move forward. Like, you don't know if like, you know, this, when they approach you, saying their interest in you, that if this is just going to be the same bullshit people have put you through in the past, because maybe it'll ring some similarities like, oh, very flirtatious, very um, seductive. You'll just feel like maybe they just want me for that D or that P, right? And if you don't know what I'm getting at, you should just take a moment to figure that out. But there's nothing to be apprehensive about, Aries. Some of you have a nice ass too. Ooh, you guys. Biddy's in ass for the, you know, some of y'all, but, or you're just like a titty ass man. I mean, who isn't? I don't know, but, um, you get my drift. Anyway, they, they, they want you for sure. Okay. Um, this could even be someone younger than you, Aries. Um, Someone a few years, like a younger energy I'm getting. It could even be a younger air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Or a younger um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius too. But they're very playful. And I think that's what throws you off. Is that you don't want any more of that player, playerette um, type of vibes. But on it, remember, honesty's here. So I think they're just trying to, you know, get their Casanova on. And just like swoop on you. 
so but don't don't be apprehensive they have a lot of feelings for you okay a lot of feelings for you let's go ahead and clarify the seven of swords though I, i'm just curious at this point why is the seven of swords here for aries six of pentacles exactly exactly what i was saying um it's because before aries you were giving too much to people who didn't deserve you right you don't want that same thing of me giving into a connection that's just a waste of my time that's just them playing using me and then abusing me um if that's literal aries i'm so sorry that happened to you but what I'm getting mostly is that like some people may have taken advantage of you or taken advantage of you financially. Um, you know, like in the past you may have dealt with, you know, people who just wanted you to pay for everything or just wanted you to take them out all the time or like, I don't know, but you, you're, you're only going to take your energy and your time into something that's going to be reciprocated. No longer are you going to be the one waiting for a text back a call back, um, any sort of that. You're going to have equal give and take given to you. Ooh, and I'm seeing a pumpkin here. So some of you, it, a pumpkin I correlate with with October because of Halloween. I know it's like a fall thing, but like some of you guys can be um, meeting this person and you guys are going to do something on Halloween. Something about Halloween. Maybe you're excited about Halloween and that's just popping in. Um, could be connected with the Libra. Or a Libra may be coming in your life. Um, what's this? Oh, there's a Nine of Wands here. Yeah, so this all makes sense. Aries, you've been through it with some sneaky, shady people. And by the way, those sneaky, shady people are still watching you too. On top of this person, a lot of eyes are on you. Okay, you look good, smell good. Um... But you're not giving into that shit anymore. You've grown. You've learned. You're strong. You got back up and you're like, you know what? I know that sucked. That was a shitty uh, situation. But that's not happening to me again. I'm wiser. I know when sneaky people are going to be coming in my life. When those smiles are fake. When um, those like seductive little words just mean they want my ass and then leave me. I know what to give my time to. I know what to give my energy to. And it's not going to happen again. It's not. It's beautiful. Beautiful, Aries. I love it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this to the extended version. We're going to see the likely outcome of this situation and any advice for you. Uh, but before we go, I am going to pull a Romance Angel card and see what their energy is towards you. What energy does this person have towards Aries that they may not be communicating at this time? Or they just what they're holding for Aries. What energy do they have towards Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Codependency. Oh, okay. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Camera's going everywhere. Aries. I do have to say, um, this person likes you a lot. Okay. Um, they've been waiting for this to happen. They've been planning for this to happen. I just want to say, this is a tiny bit of an obsessive feeling they have for you. They've thought about you. They can't stop thinking about you, Aries. You're on their mind constantly, okay? And... Uh, Aries, it's almost as if like they're really putting so much... They're manifesting you. You, I feel like it's like you are just manifesting like a new relationship, a new connection that you can finally have that will be solidified, that will be long term. But Aries, I think they were manifesting you specifically. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. I'm kind of curious. Yeah, this could be the one. Aries, need I say more? This person thinks you are the one for them. That you are the one that's going to fulfill their romantic desires, their romantic needs, what they seek. And I feel like, Aries, this could be the one for you, too. 
But, you know, with this, I'm going to clarify this codependency. I just want to see if this is anything a bit of a warning more than it is how much they really just want you, how much they yearn for you. I'm hearing yearning for you, Aries. Um, and they really think you could be the one for them. <laughs> okay, I guess I had a card from the other deck in this pile, but it's the world. With the Nine of Swords, they're worried that this may not work, Aries. They're worried that you may not have the same feelings for them. That you may not, like, again, differences. The world card. You guys could be from totally different areas of the world. You guys could just be from different cultures, different um, religions, backgrounds, what have you. Some of them are long distance from you, and maybe that's why they're worried a bit. But, Aries... They want this with you so bad. So bad. They find you sexy as hell too. Like physically, you're attractive as fuck in their eyes. Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm getting a bit of that like seductive energy <laughs> coming through. Whoo. All right. We're going to go ahead and take this to the extended. I hope you enjoyed this series. If you enjoyed it, um, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I love you guys so much. I really hope this manifests for you guys because this looks amazing. All right. Bye, Aries. See you next time.